Thanks for coming grocery shopping at Costco with me, Rainbow Dash, Twilight, and Spike. Anytime, Cyrus. I'm happy that we can get the new Buzz Lightyear game for Ryan and Rainbow Dash. I know. I'm happy it's finally released here. Because they wouldn't stop talking about it ever since we went to see Toy Story at the drive-in last month. Especially Ryan. I know. And I got very annoyed of them watching it over and over on DVD. <laughs> we all did, Spike. Hey! Toy Story is the best Disney movie ever made. You know? <laughs> we know. We know, Rainbow Dash. We know. Hey, Cyrus, on the way out, can we please get an ice cream? Sure, Spike. We can grab an ice cream. On the way out. And a hot dog, please? Sure, Spike. What would we do without you, Spike? That I don't want to know, Twilight. Well, now that we got the video game, let's go to self-checkout and pay and head over to my and Ryan's house and play the video game, shall we? Sounds good, Cyrus. Is it okay if Ryan plays first, Spike? Yeah. Ryan's my friend. Why not? Thanks, Spike. You're a pal. How about you, Rainbow Dash? Well, all right. But as long as I get to play next, after him, oh, I'm sure Ryan won't mind. Rainbow. Hey, excuse me. Oh, hello, officer. Hey, are you Princess Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, and Spike the Dragon? Um, yes. Yes, we are. My name is Officer Kai. I'm new. I'm a new police officer of the Coolsville Police Department. And I have two kids who, who have heard about you, Princess Twilight. Is it okay if I take a picture with you? Sure, why not? And if it's okay if I take a picture with you, too, Spike and Rainbow Dash? Sure, Officer Kai. Eh, yeah, why not? Ka-cha! Ka-cha! Hey, can I get one more picture with you, Spike? Sure. My kids are a huge fan of you, most of all, Spike. They are? Yes. Ka-cha, ka-cha. Thanks for the picture, Spike. You too, Twilight and Rainbow Dash. No problem, Officer Kai, and welcome to the Coolsville and the police department. Thanks. Well, I'll see you folks around. See you around, Spike. I'm also a fan of you, too. See ya. See ya. <laughs> wow, Spike. Looks like you have some fans. And even a fan who's a police officer. Well, I'm not that famous, Cyrus. Oh, really? Because aren't you the dragon that saved the Crystal Empire? And the dragon who saved... Rarity from those timber wolves and the dragon who saved. No, wait. What I meant to say was, aren't you the same dragon that saved Rarity from those diamond dogs and saved Applejack from those timber wolves? Okay, I take that back. Maybe I am famous. <laughs> I thought so. Like I said, what would we do without you, Spike? You'll always be my favorite number one assistant and friend. You're still my baby dragon. 
Oh, Twilight, you're embarrassing me. Can we please just go pay for the video game and get that ice cream and hot dog, please, like, like you promised, Cyrus? <laughs> sure, Spike. Come on. <laughs> That's Spike. Some things never change. No, they don't. Oh, Spike. For the last time! Not today, Zerg! And this time, don't count on it! Hmm? This is not over! Your evil plan ends here, Zerg! You'll never defeat me, Buzz Lightyear! Ha 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 Yes! <laughs> Take that, Zerg! Whoops. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to gloat. We've all been there, Ryan. We've all been there. Cyrus, darling, if you don't mind me asking, why are we playing the video game in your room. Why can't we just play it in Ryan's room? Because Ryan doesn't have a TV like me, Rarity. Yeah, it's true. I can't afford a TV in my room, so Cyrus and I are sharing his until I get enough money to get my own. And unfortunately, we only have one player controllers, so we're all going to have to share it. Is everyone okay with that? I'm okay. I'm okay with that, Sugar Cube. Me too. Me three. We're all okay with that, Ryan. Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Okay, it's all yours, Cyrus. Can I play next after you, Cyrus? Sure, Spike. 
Ooh, I might get thirsty while playing. Hey, Spike, can you do me a favor and run to the kitchen and grab me a bottle of Coke? Sure, I'll be back. Take your time, Spikey Wikey. Oh, Rarity. You still call him that? Rarity? Yes, darling, I do. I loved seeing Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2 last week at the drive-in. Me too, Fluttershy. Toy Story is a very old movie. In the first Toy Story, I can't believe Buzz thought that he was an actual space ranger and, an, and not a toy. He learned that he was a child, child's plaything. Who wouldn't want to be a toy? No offense, but who would not want to be a toy? I wouldn't want to break my arm if I was a toy. Me neither, Applejack. And Buzz's arch enemy, the evil Emperor Zerg. <laughs> He's a villain, but he can't do anything right. <laughs> You're right, Cyrus. The evil Emperor Zerg, he is such a bad guy. He's Buzz Lightyear's father? Yeah, right. That's worse than the time Spike thought a dragon named Sludge was his father. I'll come back and grab a Coke of my own. <laughs> what a silly guy. He can't do anything right. Huh? Who are they talking about? Yeah. He can't do one thing right. <laughs> I wouldn't need an assistant like him to help me. Not if he can't do anything right. Who needs a friend like him? He would probably turn against us or turn into a monster. <laughs> what? Is Twilight talking about me? Like I said. Silly guy, he can't do anything right. He is such a numbskull. He is talk. She... She is talking about me. I'm not a numbskull. I mean, I was a jealous numbskull of Aloysius, but... Is Alo... Is Twilight talking behind my back? I agree, Twilight. Who needs a guy like him who's always messing everything up? Yeah. He can't do one single thing right. Who needs a friend like him? I don't think he is a good friend. Yes, darlings, he's a terrible friend. I would not want to be friends with him. Neither would I. Me neither. They're all talking behind my back. I thought Twilight loved me. And I thought I was, I was her number one assistant. And I thought the pony gang liked me. And I thought Cyrus and Ryan liked me. I can't believe they would talk behind my back. Saying how silly I am and I can't do anything right? Well, it's true. I've done a lot of wrong stuff in the past. Twilight and the others really hurt my feelings. Maybe they're better off without me. They probably wish I wasn't even here anymore. If they don't want me anymore, then I'll leave. <sighs> and I bet Buzz Lightyear would want, would not want Emperor Zerga's friend either. 
Yeah. But who needs Zerg if that when you have Spike? Yeah. And Buzz Lightyear too. <sighs> hey, did you just hear did you guys just hear a door closing? It was probably just Spike closing the fridge door. He should be back with my Coke soon. Oh well, well. I'm sure Spike won't mind if we play the second level without him. He's probably getting a Coke for himself too. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't drink too much and get a, on a sugar rush like he did last week. Yeah, well anyway, let's just play level two and then wait for Spike to come back with your Coke, Cyrus. Okay, Twilight. Two and a half hours later. Oh, I died. Thanks a lot, Zerg. Okay, Spike, your turn to... Oh, yeah, Spike's not back yet. Come to think of it, Spike's been out of the room for two hours. Or should I say, has been gone for two hours. Wonder what's taking him so long. I hope he's okay. Hmm. Maybe we should go and check on him, Twilight. Good idea, Cyrus. Hey, Ryan, why don't you have a turn at playing next? And Twilight and I will go check on Spike. Okay, Cyrus. Hey, Spike. Yo, Spike. Spike? Everything okay, Spike? Spike? I don't see him. There's my bottle of Coke I asked him to get me, but I don't see Spike. Me neither. Spike? 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 He's not in the bathroom or the living room, and he's not in the kitchen either. Where did he go? He's not in Ryan's room. Hmm, that's weird. Did you guys find Spike? No, Fluttershy. Spike's not here. He's not in the bathroom, the living room, the kitchen, or Ryan's room. He just... So he just left your bottle of Coke at the door and... Disappeared? Looks like it, Rainbow. But where could Spike have gone? That's a good question, Applejack. I wish I knew. Maybe he went back to our house. Good idea, Twilight. Maybe he decided to get a Power Pony comic while he waits for his turn at the video game. Well, let's go back to the house and see if he's there. Good idea, Sugar Cube. Boing, 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 boing. Spike! Spike! Did you come back to the house? Spike! Don't you want to turn on the video game? Where are you, Spike? Spike! Mm. He's not in our room. He's not in the kitchen. 
He's not in the backyard. He's not in our rooms, the bathroom or the living room either. Where could Spike have gone? That's a good question, Pinkie Pie. But I'm sure there's an explanation. Spike wouldn't just disappear. You're right, Cyrus. Spike always tells us when he's going somewhere. He always lets us know where he's going somewhere. This is not like Spike to just disappear like that. Hello, Pony. What's the occasion? Hey, Twiley, is everything all right? Oh, Shining Armor. Cadence. Princess Celestia. Princess Luna. Um, have any of you by any chance seen Spike? Isn't Spike with you? He was. We were playing the new Buzz Lightyear video game at Cyrus and Ryan's house. He went to grab Cyrus a Coke and then he just disappeared. Have any of you seen him by any chance? Sorry, Twiley. We haven't seen Spike. We were just out on a walk with Flurry Heart. I'm sorry, Twilight, but we haven't seen Spike. But we can help you look for him. Thanks, Princess Celestia. Hey. Guys, what's that on the door? What door? The fridge door. Oh, don't worry about that, Sugar Cube. That's just an old grocery shopping list one of us forgot to throw out from last week. I don't think that's a shopping list, Applejack. It looks more like a note. Here, I'll go grab it. A note? From who? We're all here. It's a note from Spike. Spike? What does it say? It says, Dear Twilight, I overheard you and the others from Cyrus's room talking behind my back, saying that I'm a silly guy and I can't do anything right. And that you don't need a guy like me. And that made me thought back to the past. To all the mistakes I've done. Of what a jealous numbskull I used to be. What you said really hurt my feelings, Twilight. And I thought that meant that you don't need me anymore. So I'm running away and I'm never coming back. So don't think about coming to look for me. Because, like I said, I'm never coming back. I can't believe what you said to me. It really hurt my feelings. I feel really hurt from Spike. What? Spike ran away? Spike ran away? That makes no sense. Spike heard us talking behind his back and he ran away because of that? That makes no sense. Well, when were we talking behind his back? We weren't. We... Wait. <gasps> oh... Twilight! Zerg! Zerg? Wait, what? Um, I'm not getting it, Cyrus. Guys, remember when we were talking about Buzz Lightyear's arch enemy, the evil emperor Zerg? And how silly of a villain he is and that he can't do anything right? Yes, I remember that. 
Me two. Me three. Yes, of course we remember that, darling. What does that have to do with Spike? Guys, think about it. When Spike went to grab me a Coke, he must have overheard us talking about Zerg. Us saying that he's such a silly guy and we can't do anything right. <gasps> Spike must have thought we were talking about him. <gasps> oh, Spike. He didn't know we were talking about Zerg. Oh, no. Spike's got it all wrong. We would never say mean things or talk behind his back. Well, we know that, Twilight. But Spike doesn't know that. He thinks that he's not wanted anymore. And he thinks you don't want him anymore. Oh, Spike. We've got to find him and tell him what we really me meant. Tell him how important he is. But Spike could be anywhere. He could be at any of his, any of his favorite places in Coolsville. Well, we'll cover more ground finding Spike if we split up. Great idea, Sugar Cube. Thanks, Applejack. Okay, every pony, listen up. We've got to find Spike. And tell him how important he is. And what we really meant. Rainbow Dash, Cyrus, Ryan and I will check on the north side of town. Cadence, Shining Armor, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Flurry Heart, you check the north. And Princess Celestia, Luna, Rarity, and Applejack, you check the west. We're on it, Twily. Whatever you say, Twilight. And we'll meet at the picnic table. Everyone knows where that is, right? Yes, we know where it is, yeah. Right outside of the mall. I hope we can find Spike. Don't worry, Twily. We'll find him. And I'm sure Spike is fine. Don't be so sure, big brother. Poor Spike is probably out there, lost and cold, confused. Poor guy. He's a, he's only a baby dragon. Oh, Spike. Where are you? I can't believe Twilight would say such things about me. The others too. Cyrus and Ryan. And they were such good neighbors. I feel hurt for what they said about me. Now I'm once again alone, cold. <sighs> At least it's not raining this time. This is starting to feel like deja vu. Well, Twilight doesn't love me anymore. She probably doesn't love me anymore. Doesn't need me anymore.
Well, I'm not going back after what she said about me. The others too. Ugh. 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 I really should should have packed light. Ugh. Ugh. Spike. 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 All the only oxen free. Ryan. What? Spike! Spike! Did you guys find Spike? Nope. We can't find Spike. We checked the mall, Scarebeard's Beach, the malt shop, the diner, Swish LA, and the arcade. We checked the zoo, the park, the theater, and the malt shop, the second malt shop. We also checked the National History Museum, the Kulzonian Criminology Museum, McDonald's, Wendy's, KFC, and Montana's. Princess Celestia, any luck with you guys? I'm sorry, Twilight, but we couldn't find Spike. And we checked the other mall, the boardwalk, Oceanland, and all the other places Spike loved going since we moved here. Spike is nowhere to be found. I can't believe he ran away again. He's my baby dragon and my number one assistant and friend. I can't believe he'd think I would talk behind his back and run off. Yes, indeed. We should all learn not to talk out loud. And I think I know why Spike thought we were talking about him. Why, Cyrus? Well, sometimes when we overhear someone talking to someone else, it can be easy to misunderstand them. And, of course, that can lead to trouble. And when Spike overheard us talking about Emperor Zerg... He must have thought we were talking about him, us talking behind his back, but we weren't. And here we are trying to find him and tell him that. But so far, no luck. Yeah, you're right, Fluttershy. And we checked the north, south, east, and west side of town. Spike isn't in any of those places. We have so many memories with Spike. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Remember when he got jealous of Aloysius, thinking he was replacing him? And the time he saved Rarity from those diamond dogs? And the time he saved Applejack from those timber wolves. And the time he thought that big dragon named Sludge was his father, but he lied. Or how about last week at the drive-in when we went to see Barney's Great Adventure? You and him wouldn't stop singing the Barney theme for two hours, Ryan, remember?
Oh, yeah! <laughs> I couldn't get the Barney theme out of my head, and neither could Spike. <laughs> we know! You and Spike kept singing the Barney theme song over and over and over. <laughs> Roll the clip. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination And when he's tall, he's what we call a dinosaur sensation Good times, good times. Did I ever mention that I was obsessed with Barney when I was a kid? Yes! Over a hundred times! Come on, Ryan, focus! Oh yeah, Spike's missing. Sorry, Twilight. <sighs> That's okay, Ryan. Well, what do we do now? We've searched almost all over town and there's no sign of Spike. Well, we might as well just go home. What? Go home? Listen, Twilight. It's getting dark, and it will be hard to find Spike at night. But, Twilight, I promise, we'll continue looking for Spike first thing in the morning. Right now, let's just go home and get a good night's sleep. I'm sure Spike's fine. Princess Celestia, Shining Armor. What do you two think? I'm afraid Cyrus has a point. Twilight. We have been searching all day for Spike, and now it's getting dark. And it will be too late to continue searching for Spike in the dark. Yeah, like Cyrus said, Twilight. We'll continue searching for Spike first thing in the morning. Don't worry. I'm sure he's fine. <sighs> okay, whatever you say, big brother. Don't worry, Twilight. We will find Spike. We will not give up until we find him. <sighs> okay, Cyrus. We'll continue... Searching for Spike tomorrow. Let's go home and get some sleep. I have a feeling I won't. It will be okay, Twilight. <sighs> Come on. Boing, boing, boing. Hey, Cyrus. Do you think Twilight is really worried about Spike? After all, this isn't the first time he's run away. Yeah, Twilight is worried something bad might happen to Spike. The last time Spike ran away, he almost got eaten by a big dragon. Do you think Twilight is worried sick about Spike? Yeah, I think so too. The more Twilight thinks about Spike, the more worried she gets. But everything will be okay. When we find Spike, we'll tell him what we really said. 
Spike is Twilight's baby dragon and number one assistant. Twilight has had Spike since he was a baby dragon. And ever since she hatched him from that little green and purple egg from her entry exam. And ever since Princess Celestia led Twilight into her school back in Canterlot. Well, come on. Let's go home and get some sleep and continue searching for Spike. And hopefully Twilight will stop worrying about him. Oh, Spike, where are you? Where are you, Spike? Twilight's worried about you. Ugh. 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 I can't go on. I need a place to s sleep for the night. This should do. <sighs> Good night, Twilight. Since you no longer love me. Good night, Spike. Silly guy, he can't do anything right. Who needs a guy like him? <sighs> Silly guy, who needs a guy like him? Silly guy, who needs a guy like him? He can't do anything right. Mmm. Princess Celestia, you are very good at making pancakes. Thank you, Cyrus. Have you ponies been sleeping? Or did you ponies get good sleep last night? Well, we did, but Twilight... Uh-oh. Was she up all night worrying about Spike? Yep. I overheard her talking in her sleep, wondering where Spike was, saying, Spike, where are you? Over and over. <sighs> well, that's why we have to go back out and look for Spike. The more... The more... Twilight thinks about Spike, the more worried and stressed she gets. Like I said, or like Twilight said, she's had Spike since she passed her entrance exam when she hatched her from that purple and green egg and when she got her cutie mark. <sighs> Are you okay, Twilight? No, I was up all night worrying about Spike. We have to find him. And we will, Twilight. We just have to have faith. And that's why we're going to go straight back out and look for him. But Cyrus, darling, we checked every part of Coolsville. Yeah. 
the north, south, east, and west side of Coolsville. And Spike's not any of those of his favorite places on those sides of town. Well, we'll just have to check again. It's always good to check the second time when you lose something. So, come on, every pony. Let's go back out and look for Spike. And don't worry, Twilight. We'll find him. I hope so, Cyrus. I hope so. Oh, Spike. Where are you? I might never see my baby dragon again. Okay, so we're going back out to look for Spike. But where should we start? Well, we'll start the same places we checked yesterday, Fluttershy. We're going to check the north, south, east, and west all over again. Even though Spike still may not be at those places, it's always good to check for the second time, like I said. And then after that, we can have a We Found Spike party. Of course, Pinkie Pie. <sighs> but what if we don't find Spike? What if he's still not any of those places? I'm just worried he might get hurt. I still won't forget the last time he ran away and almost became a dinner meal for a dragon. And Aloysius and I saved his life. Twily, I know how much you love Spike. He's both our little brother. Remember when he won Sibling Supreme? When he teamed up with Luna? Yes. Well, he's proven that he was the little brother we've always had. And I know Spike. He once saved the Crystal Empire, if you remember. And he made friends with a changeling. We'll find him, Twily. I know we will. Come on. Let's... Let's go. Okay. <sighs> I'm happy I slept in that cave for the night, but... I'm starting to think maybe running away wasn't a good idea. Maybe I should have talked to Twilight telling her how I felt of what she and the others said. How silly I am and I can't do anything right. Maybe running away was such a bad idea. Well, it's too late now. I'm probably miles from home. Even though I could turn around right now, I won't. <sighs> Although I do have a lot of memories with Twilight and the Pony Gang. And Cyrus and Ryan.
But after what they said, they probably don't want me anymore. After I did a nice thing for Cyrus, asking me to grab him a Coke, and now he said not nice things and talked behind my back. And I thought he was our neighbor. Oh well. Now I'm homeless. I'm cold, hungry. Oh, I'm starting to feel homesick. I want to go home. But I don't know where home is. Because I'm lost in a deep, dark forest. Should I turn back? No. Twilight and the others don't want me. They're probably not looking for me. They're probably not spending three hours looking for me all over town. They don't love me anymore, especially Twilight. And I thought I was her number one assistant. Oh! It's been three hours, and we checked the north, south, east, and west side of town again. And there's still no sign of Spike. We can't give up, Rainbow Dash. We've got to keep looking for Twilight. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Twilight. It's okay, Rainbow. Well, what now, Sugar Cube? Spike is nowhere on the north, south, east, or west side of town. Hmm. And we checked each of Fl Spike's favorite restaurants, favorite parks, and other favorite places in Coolsville since we've moved here. And Spike's not any at those places. Hmm. Well, there is one place we haven't checked. What's that? Well, we can always check the woods where, where your ponies were in when you discovered the human world. Oh, well, we haven't been to those woods since the summer. And that was when we met Sid Spillbeans, who's still in jail, I hope. He is Rarity. Well, it's the only place where we haven't looked. Maybe Spike... Decided to go live in those woods. We've got to check. Well, it's worth a shot and worth a try. Well, we have no time to lose then. I know where those woods are. We'll first check the waterfall. Where you ponies came out of. Come on. Spike! 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 I was worried he wouldn't be here. We gotta keep looking, Twilight. 
Don't be negative. We have to be positive. Yeah, Twiley. We'll find Spike. Just have faith. Spike! Spike! Hey, look! A cave! And look! Spike's been here! Those are his footprints! He must have slept here last night. My thoughts exactly. If we follow those tracks, we'll find Spike. Come on! We're coming, Spike! <sighs> I'm still starting to think the more... I run away, the more homesick I feel. I miss Twilight and the others, even though they did say those mean things about me. Twilight's probably wondering where I am. I shouldn't say that she's not, and I shouldn't say that she doesn't love me. She told me before. No one can ever replace me, even if I'm being a jealous numbskull. And I'm a baby dragon. I'm her number one assistant and friend. And the Pony Gang are my friends. And Cyrus and Ryan are my friends. You know... Talking about them makes me feel much better! Whoa! Ow! 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 Whoa! Ow! Hit my wing on a rock! Ah! I'm in a river and I can't fly out! Ah! I can't swim! Ah! Someone! Oh no! Someone help me! Someone! Help! Spike! 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 All yell the oxen free! Ryan? What? Spike's footprints end here. But where's Spike? I guess we'll never find him. Twilight? No, Cyrus. Maybe Spike's not even in these woods. Maybe he's gone. This is all my fault. This is on me. Twilight? It's not your fault. Yes, it is. Well, Twilight, it's not just your fault. Spike thought when Spike overheard us talking about the evil Emperor Zerg, he thought we were talking about him. So, we're all to blame. Maybe we should have talked out loud. And now Spike is probably gone. He's probably in Australia or L.A. by now. Which is possible for a Ryan. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Oh, Spike, I love you.
You'll always be my number one assistant. Oh, Twilight. It's okay. We'll find him. No, we won't. You always say that, Cyrus. This time, Spike is probably gone. I'll never forget the nice things and bad things he's done. He saved Applejack from the Timberwolves. Saved Rarity from the Diamond Dogs. He saved the Crystal Empire. I miss Spike too, Twily. I'll never forget his lovely voice. Help! It kinda went like that. Spike was a good friend. And a good little brother. Help! Someone help me! His voice sounded exactly like that. Help! Feels like I can hear his voice right now. Help! Wait a minute. Shining armor? That is Spike's voice. That's Spike! Where's it coming from? Help! Sounds like it's coming down... It's coming from the river. It's coming from down there. Wait, I think I see something in the river down there. Let's go! Spike has to be in the river. Why would Spike be in the river? Wait! I saw something! It's... 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 Help! Spike! Spike! We found him! Spike must have slid down the hill. And look! He must have hurt his wing, and now he can't fly! Spike's in trouble! Twilight! Guys! Please help! You're right, Cyrus. Spike's in trouble. We gotta help him! Don't worry, Spike! We'll save you! Guys, come on! We'll save you, Spike! Come on, Pinkie Pie! Boing, 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 boing! Spike! Stop running away from us! I'm not! Spike's not running away from us, Rainbow Dash! The current in the river is pushing him! The current in the river is very strong! Spike, get on your back and kick. Spike can't swim. Ryan, oh yeah, he's a dragon. I forgot. Uh-oh. Cyrus Dialing, what's wrong? Guys, hurry! Spike is heading for the waterfall! Wait. Did Cyrus say waterfall? <gasps> no! Waterfall! If Spike goes over that waterfall, he's doomed! We gotta save him! I got it! Spike! Spike! Yeah? We'll save you! Grab onto that rock! Rock? What rock? Bang! 
Oh, ow, this rock. Ooh, ouch, that's gotta hurt. Spike, hold on to that rock and don't let go. I'm gonna throw a rope to you. Unfortunately, that's all I could do, Cyrus. Just hurry. Applejack, can I borrow your lasso? Sure. Here. Spike! Grab the rope and tie it around yourself! Mm. I got it! Great, Spike! Now tie it around yourself! And we'll pull you in! I got it! Okay, every pony, pull on the count of three. One, two, three! Heave! Ugh. Here, grab him, grab Spike, grab him, grab him, go, 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 grab, 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 grab him. We got you, Spike, we got you. Here, grab him, grab him. Ugh. Here. Uh. Ryan, you and the others, grab a towel, quick! We're on it. It's gonna be okay, Spike. We've got you. One towel for a wet dragon. Here. We got you, Spike. Here. Spike, are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. Thanks, guys. Oh. We got you, Spike. Thanks for saving me, guys. No problem, Spike. We're here for you, Spike. Spike, why did you run away like that? That was very dangerous and very irresponsible, especially putting yourself in danger. You could have been seriously hurt. Well, I overheard you guys talking about me. What a silly guy I am and I can't do anything right and who needs a guy like me? What you guys said really hurt my feelings and I felt left out. So I decided to run away. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put myself in danger. And I didn't mean to make all of you look for me. You guys are right. I can't do anything right. Spike? Spike? We would never talk behind your back. What do you mean? Well, Spike, after you went to grab me a Coke, we were talking about Buzz Lightyear's Arch enemy, the evil emperor Zerg. We were saying what a silly guy Zerg is and he can't do anything right. And we were saying who needs a guy like Zerg. We were saying stuff about the evil emperor Zerg, Spike. We weren't talking about you. Oh. Cyrus told us what you did, Spike. When we overhear someone talking to someone else, it can be easy to misunderstand them. And that can lead to trouble. So I think you might have misheard what you said, what we said, Spike. I think you're probably right. I should have came to all of you and told you how I felt. I'm sorry, everyone and every pony. I should not have run away. I know it was very wrong of me. Oh, Spike, we're your friends. We'll always be here for you.
even though you'll always be here for us. But you can't run away, Spike. It's very dangerous and very irresponsible. And Twilight was up all night worrying about you. So, I think you need to apologize to Twilight, Spike. Twilight cares about you, and she loves you, and she's been taking care of you since you were a baby dragon. You're right, Cyrus. I'm sorry I ran away, Twilight. I thought you didn't need me or love me anymore. Spike, I told you before. You're my number one assistant and friend. No one can ever replace you. Even if you're a jealous numbskull. I'll always love you, Spike. You'll always be here for me, and I'll always be there for you. I love you, Spike. I love you so much. Oh, Twilight. I love you, too. Aww. But Spike, promise is all one thing. Yes, Cyrus? Promise you'll never run away like that again. Because like I said, it was very dangerous. And now you've hurt your wing. And if, and if we didn't save you, you could have gone over that waterfall. I promise, Spike. I mean, Twilight. I mean, Cyrus. I promise I will never run away again. Cross my heart, hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye. I pinky promise. Again, cross my heart, hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye. Ding. Ding. We're happy to have you back, Spike. I'm happy to be back, too. Achoo! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I don't feel so well. Uh-oh. I think you might have caught a cold from being in the river, Spike. Come on, let's get you home. And we'll make you all better. Come on, Spike. We'll make you better in no time. Aw, you guys are the best. And you're the best too, Spike. Feeling better, Spike? I sure am. It's so good to be home. I'm sorry again, every pony, for running away. Well, we're happy you learned your lesson and not to do it again, Spike. Yeah. We'll always be here for you, and you'll always be here for us, Sugar Cube. Yeah. We love you, Spiko. And we'll always love you, Spike. We pinky promise. Cross our hearts, hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye. Okay, Pinky, we get it. Hee-hee. <laughs> Mm. Twilight, I love you. I love you too, Spike. I love you so much. I want to sing that song that made you cry. Wait, what do you mean? Remember that song, True Colors, that was playing at Swiss Chalet last week? And you... Got so emotional by it, you cried? Uh, no. I wasn't crying, I had something in my eye. You can't prove that. I see your true colors shining through. Mm -hmm. I see your true colors, and that's why I love you. Hey, Cyrus, is Spike crying? I don't know. Hey, Spike, are you crying? 
No. Twilight, please don't. You're gonna get us copyright claimed. So don't be afraid to let them show your true colors. True colors are beautiful like a rainbow. Who's... Now are you crying, Spike? <laughs> oh, Twilight, I love you! Ah! <laughs> oh, Spike. Wah, 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 wah. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> Please don't sing again, Twilight. We're gonna get copyright claim. <laughs>